Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and today I'm going to be giving you a quick video showing you how to get Android 4.3 on your Nexus S. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just want to preface this as usual, uh, citing that you do need to be rooted and have you super user permissions. Uh, and then you're going to want to go ahead and hit the two links down below. There will be one for the G apps as well as the ROM. This is Cyanogen Mod 10.2. So what we're going to go ahead and do is reboot and recovery however you want to do that whether it's through ROM manager or twerp or if you just turn it off and turn it back on holding the power and the volume up button you're going to get back into your recovery mode now once that's at this screen or somewhat similar you're going to go ahead and uh, wipe the cache partition then you're going to go down to advanced and wipe the Dalvik cache once that's done go back hit wipe data factory reset and it's going to go ahead and wipe everything Okay, now once that's done, you're just going to go ahead and install zip, choose zip, and download if you download straight to your device, which I recommend. Uh, that way you can follow right, uh, along right away. You'll see CM 10.2 nightly. Go ahead and hit yes and install that. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to go ahead and then go back and uh, wipe the cache partition again so we can go ahead and install the gapps all in one go. and We don't have to go back into recovery. Go to advanced when you're done with that. Wipe the Dalvik cache and go back and one more time install zip choose zip from SD card again download now you'll see the second link down below will be for the 4.3 uh, Crespo uh, G apps now uh, I might have not said this but this is for the uh, GSM variant of the Nexus S alright now we're gonna go ahead and go back and reboot system now now give it a second it will take uh, some time to get a first boot setting everything up Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we have uh, force close Google Plus has stopped, uh, text to speech has stopped. Now I have gotten uh, the Google Plus has stopped, but never the text to speech has stopped. So those might just be initial um, force closes. Maybe we need to update some apps, but we can go ahead and uh, skip this step for now. Um, now I have been playing around with this, and after I went ahead and set up my Google account and updated all the apps uh, from the Play Store to the current versions. I haven't had any uh, force stops like that, uh, or force closes that you've seen like that. So go ahead and just skip through this. And here we are right at the home screen. So we'll go ahead and open up the app drawer and see what comes on it. Now of course you do have a focal, which is the new camera we'll be uh, taking a quick look at uh, in another video. Um, so these are the apps you have of course you have the G apps and then all the other things um, Not much to it. It's a signage and mod ROM. They have uh, tweaked the settings a little bit So we'll go ahead and take a look at that um, As you can see they've added a couple new categories here and then uh, split up the more and put I believe they had uh, more things in the more section, but now they just have a couple uh, And then of course you still have profiles and all that you have super user built-in things like that that come handy Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down there for my uh, continuing coverage on signage and mod as well as some other cool videos I have coming. Thanks for watching again and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.